Minimalist Glycolic Acid. In this video, I'm going to talk about what this product does, who should use the product, and some of the things you need to watch out for when using this product. I'm going to start off this video by saying I like this product. This product does what a glycolic acid product is supposed to do. In a glycolic acid product, the concentration of glycolic acid matters a lot. Glycolic acid between 5 and 10% is a good amount. This product uses 8% glycolic acid, so that's a good thing. The next thing that matters in a glycolic acid product is its pH. pH measures the acidity or the alkalinity of a product. Now the pH has to be between 3 and 4. For this product, the pH is between 3.4 and 4 as per the marketing material of the product. When you have two glycolic acid products, even if the concentration of glycolic acid is the same, you might find a difference in the effectiveness of the product and that's usually, that usually comes down to the pH of the product. So that's how important the pH of a glycolic acid product is. I also want to give an extra thumbs up to this product for mentioning the pH because not a lot of skincare products mention their pH. Glycolic acid is an exfoliating ingredient. Now what happens is cells in the top layer of the skin, cells in the visible layer of the skin, they all have to fall off at regular intervals and make way for the newer and the younger cells from the deeper layers of the skin. And the newer and the younger cells from the deeper layers of the skin will reach the visible layer and replace the old cells that were there on the visible layer of the skin. But sometimes these, in fact often, some of these old cells are very stubborn. They refuse to fall off. And what these old stubborn cells do is, they all just cling to each other and they form like a thick layer on the visible layer of the skin and give our skin a very dull and a boring feel. Now when you apply glycolic acid on the skin, what the glycolic acid does is it gently goes and breaks the bonds between these old cells. By breaking the bonds between these old cells, these old cells, these stubborn old cells fall off because there's nothing to hold them together anymore. Once they fall off, the newer and the younger cells from the deeper layers of the skin will come to the visible layer and they'll replace all these old stubborn cells which just fell off. When this happens, there's an immediate brightening effect on the skin because that thick, old, stubborn cell layer has been removed. Glycolic acid can also help in preventing breakouts like pimples and acne, blackheads and whiteheads. So how does it do that? Now basically these old cells, these old stubborn cells, if they didn't fall off, some of them will actually make their way and find their way to the pores. Pores is a bowl-like shape in the visible layer of the skin and these old stubborn cells will go and clog the pores and in the pores we also have some excess sebum which has gone and clogged it and together this old cells and the excess sebum they will attract bacteria and they all have a big party together and out comes acne, pimples, blackheads and whiteheads. By regularly removing these old stubborn cells from the visible layer of the skin with the help of an exfoliating ingredient like glycolic acid we are reducing the chances of these old stubborn cells making its way to the pores. Thus, glycolic acid by exfoliating the top layer, it's preventing the chances of these old stubborn cells clogging the pores and thus reducing all the chances of the breakouts like pimples and whiteheads and blackheads and acne. Glycolic acid, apart from being an effective exfoliating ingredient, is also got some humectant properties. A humectant is a water magnet. It binds itself to the water molecules from the environment, from the atmosphere, and brings all that hydration to the surface of the skin. So, glycolic acid not only exfoliates the top layer, it also attaches itself to the water molecules in the atmosphere and brings some hydration to the surface of the skin. Glycolic acid can also help with hyperpigmentation. Now what happens is sometimes an excess amount of a pigment called melanin gets produced in the deeper layers of the skin and this excess melanin gets transferred to the cells which are moving up to the visible layer of the skin. So these cells which are moving up to the visible layer of the skin carry with them this excess melanin and when they reach the visible layer of the skin they form 
because they've got this melanin in them, they form these dark spots and they give out an uh, uneven skin tone appearance. And the color of this uneven skin tone and the color of the dark spots is because of the excess melanin in them. Now, if some of these cells are stubborn and are refusing to fall off, it's just going to leave behind a very uneven skin tone on the visible layer of the skin. And glycolic acid, when you put that on the surface of the skin, what it does is it's exfoliating and removing the top layer of the old stubborn cells. By doing that, it's getting rid of all those stubborn cells which had the deposits of excess melanin and was causing all these dark spots in the uneven skin tone and replacing them with the fresher and the newer and the younger cells from the deeper layers of the skin. So thus, by removing these old stubborn cells which have this excess pigment melanin in them, it's reducing some of that uneven skin tone and the dark spots which we see on the visible layer of the skin. Glycolic acid belongs to a class of exfoliating ingredients called AHAs. These are alpha hydroxy acids. There are other alpha hydroxy acids as well, like lactic acid and mandelic acid. Amongst all the alpha hydroxy acids which are used as exfoliating ingredients, glycolic acid has the smallest size. It's quite a skinny little thing and because of its small size, it can actually penetrate easily and get to the deeper layers of the skin much more effectively than all the other alpha hydroxy acids. Now glycolic acid can also boost the production of collagen. So what glycolic acid does is it gets to the deeper layers of the skin and because it can effectively get to the deeper layers of the skin, it goes and stimulates something called fibroblasts. And fibroblasts secrete collagen and when fibroblasts get stimulated by glycolic acid, they end up producing more collagen. Collagen is the most abundant protein found in our skin. It gives our skin its structure. It keeps our skin firm. But unfortunately, with age, the amount of collagen in our body reduces. And as the amount of collagen reduces, skin starts to sag and we end up with all sorts of wrinkles and fine lines and everything. So having more collagen, anything that boosts the collagen production is always a good thing and glycolic acid can help with that as well. So when should you use this minimalist glycolic acid? I prefer in the night time, especially in the daytime if you're going to go out in the sun, avoid using this product, use it in the night time. As a general rule of thumb, any products which are for repair of the skin, try and use them in the night time. Any product which is kind of protecting your skin, use them in the daytime. Glycolic acid can be a bit irritating on the skin because it's getting to the deeper layers of the skin. So what you need to do is apply a gentle cleanser on the skin. Gentle cleanser, nothing too foamy or anything like that. Gently cleanse your face and then apply the glycolic acid in the night time. Wait for it to dry and then apply a serum if you like, a hyaluronic serum or an niacinamide serum. But if you want to give serum a miss on that day, that's okay too. Follow it up, either follow up the glycolic acid either with the serum and then apply a moisturizer or you just go glycolic acid and straight away a moisturizer afterwards. Wait for this product, the minimalist glycolic acid product to dry on the face before you get to the next step. Because I've got a darker skin tone, I prefer to use a moisturizer which has got some anti-inflammatory ingredients after using this glycolic acid product. And I'll talk about why I prefer that a bit later in the video. So if you've got a moisturizer which has got something like a Panthenol or Centella Asiatica ingredients or anything which will help me reduce that irritation, I usually go for that. This product uses no fragrance and that's always a good thing. Now there's a lot of information on the internet about darker skin tone people and glycolic acid. Yes, the concern is real, it's not a fake concern, but I do have darker skin tone and I don't want to miss out on the benefits that the glycolic acid can offer. It's a good exfoliating ingredient and also has a lot of other additional benefits. So if you've got darker skin tone, just be aware that it can be irritating, but don't miss out on its benefits. So maybe start with a slow amount, gradually increase it. 
uh, monitor your skin, see how your skin reacts to it, and then gradually increase the amount of glycolic acid to the amount that the product label says you can use. Don't completely give it a miss just because of your skin tone. Anyone, irrespective of your skin tone, everyone's acid tolerance is always different. Having said that, the darker skin tone people do have to be a bit careful. When you're using any AHA product on your skin, you need to start slow and see how your skin reacts to it and then gradually get to the right amount. So what happens with darker skin tone people is when you use any product, any skincare product which can lead to some irritation, there are a type of cells in the deeper layers of the skin called melanocytes. These cells start producing an excess amount of melanin when there's any kind of irritation. And these melanocytes, they produce an extra amount of melanin in darker skin tone people. So the amount of excess melanin that gets produced in darker skin tone people whenever there's any kind of irritation is much more than in people with other skin tones. And this excess melanin travels up to the visible layer of the skin and gets deposited on the visible layer of the skin. And this is how you get all that uneven skin tone in the dark spots. And the color of the dark spots and the uneven skin tone is from the color of melanin. So whenever there's any kind of irritation, we end up producing more melanin than other skin tone people and this more melanin is what's resulting in that uneven skin tone and the melanin uh, and the dark spots. So that's something to be aware of. So that's why if you've got a darker skin tone, use your glycolic acid and use a moisturizer or other anti-inflammatory products, which is very good at calming the skin and reducing the redness. So don't completely give the glycolic acid product a miss. See how your skin reacts to it and then maybe if it reacts with a lot of irritation then it's probably not the product for you. A minimalist glycolic acid also uses bamboo water. Bamboo water is a good anti-inflammatory ingredient which is a good thing because glycolic acid can cause some irritation so if the product has an anti-inflammatory ingredient in it it's going to help calm the skin and reduce the redness to some extent. Now it also has another humectant, a powerful humectant called sodium hyaluronate. Humectants are water magnets which is going to bring in all that hydration to the skin so which is also a good thing. Don't over exfoliate your skin one to two times a week should do. Don't exfoliate your skin if you've got any kind of redness or irritation on the skin. Redness and irritation cannot be fixed by exfoliating. Don't confuse dry skin with skin that needs exfoliation. So if your skin has got rough dry patches and some redness and irritation then it's dry skin. That does not require exfoliating. What it needs is extra hydration and extra nourishing ingredients like ceramides or something, but definitely, definitely not an exfoliating ingredient. So uh, just observe the difference. Any redness, any irritation, never exfoliate. Leave the exfoliation away for another day. If you've got acne prone skin, exfoliate regularly because exfoliation is going to help unclog that pores and reduce the chances of the clogging of the pores, especially a good AHA ingredient. Now, does glycolic acid help with blackheads and uh, whiteheads? Only to some extent, I would say, because see, glycolic acid works when it comes to exfoliation, it works on the surface level. It's just breaking the bonds between those old stubborn cells. For blackheads and whiteheads, there's an other class of exfoliating ingredients called BHAs, which are beta hydroxy acids, which is like a salicylic acid product. That would be much more effective. Not so much uh, alpha hydroxy acid like glycolic acid. So that's it. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and do subscribe to my channel. It'll really help me a lot. And finally, I do have an email newsletter where I share skincare tips the simple bite-sized easy to understand skincare tips and this should take at the most three to four minutes or less than that much less than that to read if you would like to go on the list please please subscribe and i will leave a link to that email newsletter in the description below bye for now